I've read and heard you say this a lot. You, we can't make America great again in, until we make America smart again. Right. Uh, I think only, that's the case. What, what does that mean? Well, you, you need to make wise decisions. Mm -hmm. And I recently wrote an op-ed. Uh, it's posted on my Facebook page, if anybody cares. Uh, we can link to it. In it, ha it has the same title as that video that, that, that got so much distribution just before the Science March. It's titled... It's the same title for both, and it's called Science in America. But the op-ed gets to flesh out in sort of written detail what that means. And there's a section of the op-ed, it's about a thousand words, uh, actually 900 words, where I just go president by president from Abe Lincoln and fast forwarding to the 20th century and just moving forward and identifying which president was responsible for creating which well-known agency that is responsible for thinking about science. So that would include the National Institutes of Health, the National Academy of Sciences, not in order, except just as they come to my head, the Center for Disease Control, the National Science Foundation, NASA, the Environmental Protection Agency, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. You just track this over the past 140 years, and it just bounces back and forth across the aisle. Truman puts in the National Science Foundation, and that uh, becomes law in 1950, although it was proposed a few years earlier. And he's Democrat. He was, of course, the vice president to Franklin Roosevelt. Then uh, Eisenhower, a Republican, puts in NASA in 1958. And, of course, Kennedy, a Democrat, sends us to the moon. 1970, we have the Environmental Protection Agency, put into place by Nixon, a Republican. That same year, NOAA, signed by Nixon, a Republican. In the 1990s, the, there are major investments in bringing the internet from an obscure thing that scientists use to a household product. And these were investments in the Clinton administration, uh, Clinton-Gore. So you just look at this and it's clear that enlightened leadership knows and understands and values what role science and technology can play in our health and our wealth, especially our wealth, but also our security. So to enter an era where people are standing in denial of science, in denial of what is true, established by science, which is the most reliable path we have ever invented between ignorance and truth, is a recipe for the complete dismantling of all that I grew up in here in this country. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson, I invite you to click the link in the description. For more awesome interviews with incredibly fascinating people or inside knowledge from the best in influence, persuasion, negotiation, and nonverbal communication, please hit that subscribe button.